In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can slice objects using Affinity Designer. More specifically, how to create this slice text effect that you see here. So let me open up a new document and we'll get started. I'm gonna grab my text tool for this demonstration and I'm gonna click and drag to create a text object. And for this demonstration, I'm just gonna use the word sliced and I'm gonna press Control A to select all of the text there and I'm gonna change my font to something a little more suitable. For this sort of effect, I've noticed a heavier weight font seems to work best, but you can use whatever font you'd like really. So let me find my font. The font that I'm using is called Montserrat and I'm gonna use the heavy version of it. And I will choose the black variety as that is the heaviest weight version. And I'm gonna grab my selection tool and I'm just gonna center this up on the page real quick and I will scale this down a little bit. Now, in order to slice an object in Affinity Designer, you first have to have the object selected. So as you can see here by the bounding box, I have my object selected. And to do this, we're gonna use the knife tool, which is located over here in the toolbar. You can also access it by pressing the letter, key, uh, letter K on your keyboard. Now, the way this tool works is, you can click and drag to create freehand slices if you'd like. Another thing that you can do is you can enable this option up here that says straight lines and that'll confine your slicing to straight lines. So if I wanted to slice this by a straight line, I could just click and drag now and I can make this line freehand if I'd like to. Or if you wanna contain it to the vertical or horizontal axis, you can hold the shift key and it'll lock it straight across your screen like that or you can move it up or in 15 degree increments like that. So I'm gonna place my line right about where I'd like the slice to be. I'm gonna put it right about there and once you're ready, just release the click, and now you've sliced your objects in half, just like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to ungroup everything. So I have my selection tool enabled. I'm gonna come up here to layer and go to ungroup all. And now everything's gonna be broken up into individual parts. What I wanna do is, let me click off of this to show you. If I click on each of these individual pieces, you can see these are all separate now. I wanna make it so that this top half is a unit and then this top half down here is its own unit. So let me select everything here. And I'm gonna to go to my Shape Builder tool, which is located over here in the toolbar. And the action I'm going to apply is addition. So I'm gonna click on this plus icon. And now I'm just gonna click and drag to draw a line going through the top half of the letters like that. And now that is a single unit. And I'll come down here and do the same thing. I'll click and drag a line going through these bottom letters. Let me undo that actually, I messed that up. There we go, and now that is a single unit as well. So now I can go back to my selection tool and you can see we have two separate pieces here. We have sliced the text in half. So let me put that back. I'm just gonna move this over ever so slightly like that just to give it this sliced sort of effect. And I'm going to apply a little bit of a gradient in there. So I'm going to grab my transparency tool. It's located over here under the gradient tool. So if you hold a click over the gradient tool, you'll see the transparency tool. Click on that to grab it. And now I'm just going to click and drag down like this to create partial transparency or a transparent gradient going through the object like that. And then you could take this middle handle right here and adjust that as needed. I think this looks good right about there. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. And there you go, that is how you can use the knife tool to create this really simple sliced effect in Affinity Designer. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.